All right, who guessed it? Who had Celeste on their bingo card as far as making Celeste a little dream home for these speed build Saturdays? Let me know. It was definitely by far one of the most requested builds for this series. I could easily name 10 or 12 people who said, make sure to build Celeste an observatory. So that is exactly what we are doing today. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make Celeste's home or give her truly that observatory feel, which you guys will see here in a second. That is kind of the angle I went with is giving it that museum observatory, more academia inspired uh, aesthetic, but I did go back and forth for quite some time on whether I wanted it to be a very white, um, almost like an angelic kind of color palette, or if I wanted to do something a little bit more moody. And I kind of ended up going halfway, which I'll show you guys, of course, throughout this build. But with everything said, thank you so much for your support on this series. This is probably my favorite one I've made so far because it's so totally different from anything that I've ever built, or at least it feels that way to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not totally sure. I still want your requests though. So if you have a villager, an NPC, or a really unique combination in terms of an Animal Crossing character in a location that would be cool to see them in, please let me know. Of course, we will have some holiday ones coming up here in a little bit just uh, so that way you can have some good music playlists to put in the background for holiday parties or gatherings or even just having a little cozy hot cocoa kind of evening so those definitely are in the queue but uh, I'm all ears for any kind of suggestions for this series and thank you guys again for being so incredibly supportive with it I have had so much fun with it and it's been a really great way to kind of enjoy Animal Crossing again and feel creative with these different builds. So all of that to say, enjoy the speed build here. I will pop in for commentary here and there. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah, enjoy the build for Miss Celeste. Okay, I am truly already popping in for commentary here. <laughs> As you can see, I used the glow in the dark stickers to create this kind of banister and give a balcony kind of effect. I had downloaded a white version and a brown version. Just again, I didn't know exactly which way I was gonna go with this. These are pinned on my Pinterest too if you want access to these exact codes. I made sure to save them in the custom designs board. Um, but yeah, after trying the brown, I realized that this is kind of how I wanted to go with it. Even though the white was beautiful, I felt like it was almost expected for a build like this. And I feel like the brown kind of warms it up. It's a really nice contrast against this really sparkly starry sky. And yeah, using these rugs just to create a little balcony section I thought would be nice as well. So ended up going with this very rich, warm brown, but not the super dark browns that I typically gravitate towards. This is definitely a lot warmer, a little bit brighter. And at first I was excited about it. Then I went to a bit of uncertainty about it almost went totally back to doing like a white and ivory color palette maybe even a black color palette but you'll see in the end this is what of course I ended up sticking with so played a little bit around with these curtains too and I realized you could add a custom code to it the blanket codes I had did not look good so instead I realized that the middle path code on these curtains actually kind of is the perfect shade of brown that I was looking for. So I used a path code on these curtains, but you know what? All's well that ends well. It kind of worked out.
And now we're pretty much in my favorite part of every build where I grab as many miscellaneous clutter items as I possibly can. I just grab and drop them all on the floor and then I will customize and reorganize them as I see fit. But I always just scroll through, select as much as I can that I feel like makes sense or would make sense in this build and then just kind of scatter them around. But you guys can see if you've ever watched any of my speed builds, this is definitely a similar process to all of them where I just kind of drag and drop as much as I possibly can and then go in, change the colors, reorganize them. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Even though it is an observatory, I do feel like it has almost that library museum type of aesthetic along with it. It does feel not like a dark academia, but it feels like a luxurious academic building, which is kind of what I was going for. So super happy with the way it was turning out. Uh, lighting ended up getting really interesting. As you guys can see, I have the candles and this antique lamp currently. Ended up playing around with the lighting quite a bit because in theory, you don't want too much light, of course, if you're trying to stargaze. But also, since part of this build is an interior, I had to have something in there. So you'll see me kind of fiddle with that quite a bit. But anyway, <laughs> keep enjoying the speed build.
Whenever it came to rugs, I knew I wanted to use one of these two. Obviously the moon, and then we have the one that has the astrological signs on it. If I were betting on myself, I could have sworn I was gonna use the moon one, but once I saw this navy kind of compliment, obviously the navy and the night sky, I knew this is the one that I had to do. And maybe the moon one was just too on the nose, you know? Uh, besides the Nova lights, you can also see that I didn't use any of the moon fixtures like the big round one or the crescent chair lamp. I tried to steer clear of as many of those items as I could, not because they aren't perfect for this kind of build, obviously that's kind of what they were made for, but I wanted to keep it I don't know, as realistic as I possibly could. That's why I didn't use too many of the astrological items either. Had to use the Libra scales just as a nod to my own sign, so I am a little biased there. But I feel like out of a lot of those items, that's kind of one of the least assuming and offending ones. It blends in kind of nicely too with the gold accents and the build. So hey, it, it all's well that ends well. But yeah, besides the Nova lights, obviously the telescopes, what else? The, the Libra scales, I tried to kind of steer clear of a lot of the, the items you would expect in this kind of build, right? Anything that was too moony or starry. y um, But with that said, obviously this rug is still very much aligns with astrology, um, has stars on it, of course. So I, I, did, I did use a couple of them, but wanted to challenge myself at least a little bit and make it feel as close to realism as possible, uh, with still, of course, very much embracing as much of the star elements as I could too.
the final build. I am so happy with this one. I had so much fun after this build recording separate footage of Celeste walking around, uh, of course, observing the night sky. So keep your eyes peeled for a playlist on Monday with all of that footage as well. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I feel like it's very clean. I like that it's symmetrical. I think the lighting ended up turning out quite nicely. So happy with this one. Again, please leave your suggestions for some future Speed Build Saturdays and Music Box Mondays. I am all ears. Again, holiday ones definitely are on the horizon. So if you have any suggestions that are different from that, or if you just think of something that would be super cute that you wanna see me do, let me know. I am all ears. I hope you guys enjoyed this Speed Build Saturday. Thank you so much again for all of the support you guys have given me on this series on the island tours as well, and also on my lifestyle channel, which you guys can go and check out if you would like to. I just announced some pretty big news on that channel earlier this week. Um, yeah, no, thank you guys so much. I hope you're having an awesome weekend or whatever day it is when you're watching this. Happy time zones to you, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.